Okay, so uh, I'm a little burnt out on working on these GM clusters, so I'm going to take a break from that today and do a little video for you guys. It's uh, completely different than anything else you've ever seen on the channel. I'm going to put back together a uh, bag of gun. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yes, this, this happened. I uh, had this, uh, what is this even? I can't even remember now. Uh, it's like a Phoenix Arm. Yeah, it's a Phoenix Arm uh, HP-22A that uh, I'd had laying around for years in my safe. And when I was moving, my buddy was like, hey, I want to buy a gun. Uh, I want to get something small that doesn't kick at all for my wife. And I was like, dude, I got the perfect thing sitting in the bottom of my safe. Uh, it's just this little tiny pistol, and it's a 22. So... Uh, yep, he bought it from me, went and took it to the range, fired it twice, I think he said, two times or five times, and the hammer broke and just flew right off of it, just went bink, flew down, and, uh, they, they made fun of him at the range, like, ha, that's what you get for buying a $75 gun, because I was like, uh, I don't know, I, I, I didn't really care too much, so I bought a new, uh, hammer for it, and, the return spring uh, here uh, is a little bent and messed up, so got a replacement too. I don't think it was too terrible. I don't know. It'd probably function, but uh, we're not going to mess with that. We'll just replace both of them. It's cheap enough, so there we go. And here's the rest of the bag of parts. Hopefully I didn't lose anything. This thing's been apart for... Uh, two or three months now just laying around so yeah it's just a cheap little gun yeah, there's the other half of the hammer so that's that's where where it broke and this was trapped inside that's why I was able to find it so let's uh, see if I can remember how to put this thing back together uh, <laughs> which that laugh right there indicates I don't remember anything. Let's first, we got it all the way apart. Let's clean some of these areas that normally don't get cleaned. I won't bore you all with watching that. Uh, I'm going to clean this up and put some tape over the serial number because I don't trust the internet, you know. You guys swat people. I mean, come on. I can't let y'all see the serial number. Y'all do something stupid with it. Okay, so I went and found my punch set because I'm going to need this and I cleaned it off and taped over the serial number so y'all don't do something stupid with that. Uh, now, before we get started doing anything with our gun, you know, you got to do your gun safety, you know, we're going to we're going to clear our weapon, you know. We can't tell that this is clear yet. So first, you're going to check your barrel, make sure you don't have anything in there. It looks like we're clear. We're not going to look down the barrel to to verify it. That'd be stupid. Uh, then you're going to check your bolt face, and that is clear, and uh, magazine well is clear, so we've checked our three main points, so this weapon's safe to handle now, we can we can start working on it. Um, so yeah, some parts fell out, I don't think this is supposed to come out, <laughs> but uh, yeah, because it's punched on both sides, there we go, and we got to get our main spring back down in there. So this guy came out from down there to where he lives. Let's use our strut to set it back down in there. Alright. Get the strut out of the way though. Okay, so let's open these packages and see what we got. There's our new parts. Uh, the current, the, the old, this guy's roll pin still sitting in there. Uh, it comes out one direction. Uh, I believe it's that way, but I'll double check and get it out of there. I'm gonna get the old roll pin out, then we can get the new hammer and the strut and everything back in there. So, yeah. By the way, I uh, mentioned that I sold this to my friend for seventy-five dollars. I, I gave him his money back and just you know, took the gun back. Great thing about living in Florida, you know, uh, we don't we don't have to use a FFL to transfer it we just sell it <laughs> so nice and easy but uh yeah let me get this thing uh let me get this thing off of there I'm just gonna tap 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 it on out I'm gonna go grab a block block of wood to do that with and uh okay see here nothing fancy you know we just got anyways I'm throwing this thing really don't think that's supposed to come out of there <laughs> all right 
So yeah, nothing fancy here. Just a block of wood with a hole drilled in it. Uh, I don't need any fancy tools to fix a $75 gun. I mean, that's what I value it at. It seems like $125 brand new. Probably shouldn't even bother fixing it, you know. You just shoot someone and go throw it out. Ah, just kidding. You don't shoot people. Um, but, yeah, let's let's get this damn thing off there. It's just a uh, cheap Harbor Freight punch set. Uh, I've had them for a while. I think it was from Harbor Freight. I may have got them off Amazon. I don't remember. And a little mallet action. That way I don't bang it if I accidentally miss. Alright, there's the old roll pin out. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, start putting this thing back together. By the way, if y'all didn't catch uh, me clearing that out as humor, you, you guys just don't know good humor. God, you fucking safety Nazis out there. Oh my god, he handled the gun without clearing it first. It's it's a part. It's a bag. It was bag o gun um, But whatever. Before we install it, it's a good, good time to take a look at it. I mean, this thing was broken. It, it had to be replaced. No other option here. But, just compare new to used i mean it was probably time to replace this hammer anyways i had bought this gun used and then i used it a little bit i sold it to my friend and he used it uh but <laughs> three shot three shot wonder and then done but yeah all right so yeah hammer was wore out but eh, not super bad it, i mean that's a nice divot in there but i don't know he i don't think we had any light strikes or uh failure to fires with it any time recently. So let's get this thing in here. So we gotta we gotta get the sear out of the way. So we gotta put down there and just pull the trigger. Let's get it in there and all the way in there. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're forgetting a step. Forgetting to put the strut back in there. I forgot I took it out after I put it in there. Yeah. Struts back in there. Alright. Uh, let's figure out how to pull this trigger again. Yes, this thing's totally pointed at me at the moment. Oh no, you're pointing a gun at yourself. Oh, fuck. Okay, and we're done, right? You know, that's that's in there. Haha, <laughs> it works. Let's see if we can pull the trigger now. Just wanted to verify that it works before. Alright, well, I'm not sure if you noticed, but it, I found it easier to uh, pull the sear back by using my finger right here instead of trying to keep the trigger bar on there. I'm, I'm assuming it's called the trigger bar. I don't, I don't know the anatomy of this gun. I didn't look it up before doing this. I've worked on a couple of guns, so I figured just have at it and figure this out. Roll pins always go back in the same way they came out, and at least that's how I do it. I'm not a professional, but we're gonna just tap, tap, tap. You know, tip, tip, tip it a tap. I'm gonna have to set this down in my lap for a second because I gotta get it to pop through all the way. Okay, got it about halfway started. We'll just drive it the rest of the way in here on camera.
looks about even to me. Alright. So. Cool. Just half cock, half cock safety on here. And yep. So now let's find the other parts that fell out of here. Let's go. Well, we'll go back with like where parts should be in here. Let's see. There we go. That goes there. We'll put uh, the old that guy back on. So the, there's really three tools you need. I should have introduced that in the beginning. Use your old pin punch your hammer, and a flathead screwdriver, and I'm missing my flathead screwdriver. I can already hear it now in the comment section, y'all getting upset that I was making fun of gun safety. Just so you know, I take gun safety very seriously. It's just, there's people that take it to an extreme. Like, this is literally bag -o gun Just look at the parts as you put them together, make sure yeah, there isn't ammo in it, and clear it before you take it apart in the first place. But yeah, and I totally misspoke. That's I was clearing the chamber there, not the barrel. But I'll probably put it in text on my when I edit the video, anyways. So there we go. I got that guy in there. Let's get our safety back in. Let's see, this thing. I don't know if y'all are familiar with this weapon, but it has. Um, like two or three safeties. It has a safety right here, and you have a safety right there, and then I think they it, it has the half cock safety too, so that would be technically three safeties on this. I, I really don't consider half cock safety a, a safety, it's just it makes sure the hammer doesn't fall unless you're pulling the trigger, so... Like, that should just be on all <laughs> weapons with an exposed hammer, in my opinion. I don't know. That's my opinion. I'm not a gunsmith, and I'm really not an expert shot either. I just, I like guns, so I own a couple guns. I fix electronics, and I fix whatever else of mine that breaks. So, this is mine, it's broken, so I'm fixing it. I don't recommend you just go around modifying guns without any sort of training. Probably not even working on them without, I don't know learning something. D don't do what I do, I guess. Don't just go in and fix a gun willy-nilly. Probably take it to a professional, but I don't know. I'm not going to pay somebody to fix this thing. So, there we go. What do we got next? So, safety. Safety seems to be functioning. Can pull the trigger all the way. Can't pull the trigger all the way. Can. Can't. And, yep, so, let's continue on. I, <laughs> it's been so long since I've, th this is now normal reassembly from <laughs> when you take it apart to clean it. It's been so long since I've had this gun apart, I'm, uh, since I took the gun apart, I'm now like, crap, how do I put this thing back together? Alright, so I know this guy sat on there, kind of like that, and... You know, barrel goes in like that. Holy crap, I can't remember how to put back together the gun. This really seems like it shouldn't be able to move like that. Looking to see if the frame is cracked there. Because it's definitely got the indent from when we did, did the work there. But no crack. I was just worried there was a crack right there, but that is not what that is. Okay, off camera, I just took a punch and gave it a little tap tap on the sides there, so that way it won't, uh, doesn't fall out anymore, but it can still be pushed out if needed. But, yeah, there we go. Alright, I think I remember how this thing goes together. So, yeah, this guy goes in there. Oop. There we go. Underneath. So. There. 
And the spring goes on it. Brand new spring, better not dig it up. Alright. Then, this really only catches in the back, so you just kind of go over it there. And there went the spring. Eh, this thing likes to shoot out the spring. Okay. Let's try again without losing the spring this time. And of course, everything's harder with the new spring. Dang, we lost the spring again. Okay, let's try again. Get that in there. And... Now it flew across the room. These things really are a pain in the ass to put back together and take apart. Let me go grab the screen. Two hours later, actually it only took me five minutes. It just fell over there on the floor. Get that away. All right. Let's try again. Finger on the spring. Bring it all the way back and then you got this tiny little bar in here that we're lining this guy up on. Ah, fuck. I'm really trying not to bend my new <laughs> spring. And there we go, finally! Okay, so, there we go. She functions now. Uh, just, I'm not gonna dry fire it. It's, it's a rim fire weapon. We all know that dry firing rim fires are bad for them, but yeah, that's uh, now functional. I think whoever designed this thing to not have a full guide spring, or not guide spring, but guide rod for this spring in there deserves to be uh, taken behind the shed and shot because that thing is hard to put together. Uh, I actually edited out a good bit of me sticking my finger down in there, holding the spring down while shoving this down in there, uh, but I still showed some of the struggle. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's back together and... Uh, now I just need to go out and shoot it and test it, but it'll probably be a couple of weeks till I go shooting it all, so... That's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.